Here we have the outside of the Swift Challenger 530. If we firstly come to the hitch, you will see that this model is fitted with Alco trailer control. If we now open up the gas locker, you will see we have plenty of room in here for two gas bottles. You will see that this model is fitted also with the Trima Duo Control Regulator. So what we can do is purchase another pigtail and then attach it to the second bottle, thus meaning that we can easily switch between bottles or alternatively we can leave both bottles turned on, have it in the middle and it will then feed off both at the same time. Do make sure that the bottles are off for travel. Also in here we have a spare wheel, the corner steady winding handle and the jack. If we then move round, we then have the flue for the Aldi boiler. We do not need to do anything with these particular ones, just make sure that nothing is obstructing it. After that we have water into the caravan, so you will see the trim is submersible just going into the aqua roll here. To remove it, just pull on the blue trigger just here and then just give it a little wiggle and add a little pop. These particular caravans have onboard water pumps, so all this basically is, is just a hose with a little filler on, filter on the end. So if I now just drop it back in, and then just plug in like so. After that, we have the location of the leisure battery. So, leisure battery just sits here. Main hook up here, external satellite point underneath, and then behind that we just have the location point for the red isolator key for the power touch motor mover. Auto engage power touch evolution motor mover. The grey water drain points. So waste master just underneath and then drop the hoses into it. We then have the header tank fill point for the fit for toilet. So pop your pink solution into here and then top the header tank up with you with either using a hose pipe or a watering can. Do not travel with the header tank completely full or it will just slosh about everywhere. To drain the header tank down for travel and winterization, it is just done above the cassette itself. Just here there is a little black hose. All you do is just grab hold of it, just pull the end and it will then drain the water out. Standard Fetford cassette just here that are now on wheels with extendable handles. Do make sure that when putting the cassette back in that it is fully engaged. We then have the rear of the van. It already has the rails on for the bike rack. So if you ever want the bike rack, it's nice and easy to put on. You then have both your vents for your fridge. Do make sure that nothing's obstructing them. Do not spray a lot of water at them when washing the caravan. We then have a main socket just here. Access underneath the bench seat just here. 
and then we have the external barbecue point. To use this, you will need to get yourself a barbecue spear. They are basically about this long. Attach one end of the hose to the barbecue point with a Jubilee clip and then literally like this little dust cover just here then just pop it into here and it will lock into place you'll then be able to turn your gas on to release it no differently than what I just did here when I released the dust cover just literally push in and it will pop back out again This caravan is alarmed and it is fitted with a sergeant alarm. The fob is here. So we have a little torch firstly. We then have the arm disarm button. We then have control for turning the awning light on and off. And then lastly you'll see this little P for program. You can alter the characteristics of the alarm. I do suggest that you read the little instructions that come with it. You can basically change it and put it into like high wind mode or pet friendly mode. You can't inadvertently do anything just by pressing it. You do firstly have to hold it down for 10 seconds.